Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video I'm going to show you how to utilize Parsec's party mode to play games that have a local multiplayer gameplay mode with people over the internet even if they might be hundreds of miles away. So guys without further delay let's go ahead and jump right to it. So the Party Finder was just recently released to the public in the latest update, so it's not seeing heavily usage at this point in time, and you can occasionally find a party during peak usage, but of course at the time of recording this, there aren't any parties available, but I will have somebody create a party so I can showcase the full uh, feature set and the full process of joining a party here in a bit, but before I do that, I wanted to cover some of the basics of the Party Finder. So there are two things you're going to definitely want to utilize to find a party that is what you're looking for. Of course, the first is the search where you can type in a game or something and you'll be able to find a party that fits what you're looking for. And the other thing you're gonna to want to utilize is the filter, which is gonna allow you to filter parties based on location. And if the game that you're wanting to play is fast paced or really requires any form of decent reaction time, you're definitely gonna to wanna to choose locations that are physically close to you. I am in pretty much the center of the US so I can choose both Eastern and Western North America and I should have a pretty good experience as long as the host has a decent upload uh, but for the most part I should have a pretty good experience to both of those locations but if you're playing a decently fast-paced game you're not going to want to connect to like for example Africa if you are in the US there are some exceptions to that rule so for example if you want to play we Civ with some guys then it's not a fast-paced game it's a turn-based game so you should you could probably have a pretty decent experience by playing Civ Hot Seat with somebody across the world so there are exceptions to the rule but for the most part you are one on one to filter parties based upon a location that is physically close to you so as you can see here there is a Civ 6 party we can now join so you can see the title of the party uh, which gives you a brief idea of what the party is going to be what game is going to be in you know, or something along those lines you can see where the party is located so you can see that it's in eastern north america and since i'm pretty much in the center of the u.s i should have a pretty good experience connecting to uh, this host especially since the fact that we're going to be playing civ 6 which is probably one of the most latency immune games out there you can also see that the host provided some additional details utilizing the built-in description Moving over to the far right, there is a couple more bits of information we can uh, understand from this quick snippet. And you can see the open dots indicate how many maximum people can connect to this party. So you can see that there is a maximum of three people in this party uh, with one currently in the party, which of course is going to be the host. So after clicking a party, you can now see that I have a little bit more information available to me. So the first thing, the join party button is going to be grayed out by default. That means you first have to type in something to the host to get access to join the party. So after you type a short message to the host, they'll, you'll be able to click on the join party button and then they will now be able to either accept or deny your request to join the party. So also when we're in the party menu, menu, you can actually see a little bit more information about the party, such as who is actually hosting and other people that are connected, you can see a little bit more information about them. Also, once we are added to the party, we now have the option to co-play and clicking on that will join you to the remote computer. So real quick, I wanted to pause on the screen and talk about what this message is actually saying before we progress any further. So this is showcasing a great feature from Parsec called Approved Apps. And with Approved Apps, you can limit what people can both view as well as interact when they're connecting to your computer. And this is a great way to protect your privacy and allow you to have a little bit better peace of mind with, with having people that you barely know or possibly don't know at all connect to your computer to play multiplayer games together uh, using Parsec. So as you can see here, I'm now connected to Benji's computer and viewing what he's seen in Civilization VI. So as you can see, I didn't stick around too long to play the game, simply because I haven't played Civ since Civ 4, and it's changed quite a bit, and he was fairly well into the game, and I was kind of lost. Uh, but I just wanted to mainly show 
the process and how easy it is to connect to people over the internet and play local multiplayer games together. And I definitely see there's a lot of use cases for this. And it's a very cool feature that is completely unique to Parsec as far as I know, with the ability to have multiple people to connect to the same computer, whether that be a computer that you're hosting or a cloud computer. Do note though, that if you are hosting a computer, you will need a pretty good upload speed if you're having multiple people connect to your stream. Uh, so that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it hopefully you found this video both informative as well as enjoyable if you did give it a big like guys i greatly appreciate that also if you haven't already subscribed smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for more great videos from thought provoking tech thanks for watching guys and until next time zach out